everyone and welcome to PC Tips Pro. In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to create Google Forms using your mobile phone. So to get started, firstly open your Chrome browser and then type in www.googleforms.in and then you'll arrive at this interface where it says Google Forms sign in click on it now after that this is the main interface where you would need to work on your Google form edit it uh, add it add questions to it and save responses and everything so this is where you work on your Google form so firstly the thing that you would want to do is give it a heading so here you can see this untitled form uh, text just erase it and give a heading that you would like it can be a survey form it can be a book review form whatever you want it to be just give it a heading and then just below that you can see this description column where you can give it a little description about this form like give your thoughts about this book give your thoughts about this book now after that you can see this untitled question written here click on it and this is where you can write your question that you'd like to ask to your um, surveyors or uh, the people that would answer this form so type in any question that you'd like to ask like have you read this book have you read this book now after you've written and given your question you can see there is a text saying multiple choice click on it and after that you can see there are so many options saying short answer paragraph multiple choice drop down check boxes so if you want your answer to be in a multiple choice format you can select multiple choice if you want it to be in paragraph format or short answer so you can select any option that you want according to the type of answers that you want now in multiple choice there is one option that is correct in check boxes there can be uh, one or two or many options correct so right now i want this to be in a multiple choice format so i'll choose that and here is where you can give your options so select on your option one and give in your first options let's say yes now after that if you feel like adding more options you can click on add other and this is where you can give in your option like say no or maybe so you can go ahead and give as many options as you want now after you've done that this is your first question but if you feel like adding on more questions you can see this little plus sign at the uh, bottom of your screen so kindly click on it you'll see another uh, column for questions has arrived here so you can type in any more question that you would like to ask let's say what what did you like about this book now after that after you've typed in your question from here you can choose the type of answer that you want let's say i want a paragraph so i've chosen paragraph now also if you want this section to be important if you want the uh, person who is ans answering to answer this column as a very important one so you can click on this required column now this makes this question required and the answerer cannot submit this form without answering this question so this has been made required now after that if you would like to add more question click on another one also you can see there is an image option here you can also add an image as a question if you would like so click on this image one 
and here it says to insert your image but you can insert it by url photos google drive or you can upload it so click on browse let's say i would select hmm, let's say i'd like to add this image so i'm going to select this one and it's gonna upload that image and here as you can see my image has been uploaded you can also type in some questions regarding to your image like uh, do you recognize this or spot the reference or anything and after that you can choose whether you want it to be an answer a short answer paragraph or anything i want it to be an option so i choose option so let's say yes and no now after you've done this much if you want to preview this form as it is you can click on this three dots option and click on preview now and this would open your form in another tab and here you can view your form as a whole now let's submit the survey let's submit it now now after you've submitted your response go back to your original tab and here you can see this little one option in your responses click on it here you can see uh, you'll get information regarding the type of responses that you get uh, you can click on this individual option to view all responses individually and also if you like a certain response very well then you can click on this print option to either print it or convert it to a pdf format so after you've clicked on that you can see this has been converted like this and click on here select a pin printer you can save as pdf or all printers whatever you want now go back now after you've done all that now after you've done that after you've converted it to your pdf or or if you want to print it so after that you can also now edit this form give it a new type of color or you can choose a header image or you can change the text styles you can do anything you can play with the fonts the colors the background you can do anything you want here now let's say i want to change this color from purple to orange so i'll pick pick that and i want to change the text the font so i'm gonna change the font here you can also insert a uh, an header image let's say i would like to insert this insert it and then click on apply so all your changes would be applied see my text have been converted to a different kind of format your header image has been uh, applied so this is how you edit your form and also if you like if you would like your responses to be converted into a systematic spreadsheet format just go to your responses then click on this green option that you can see and here you can see two options select existing spreadsheet or create a new spreadsheet if you want you can create a new one so let's say click on create and after that they'll ask you for the type of account that you want to log in from select that and then your spreadsheet will be automatically created let's say Here, as you can see, your spreadsheet has been created. So all of your responses that you get for your form would be systematically stored here. 
now this is very convenient if you get so many responses for from your form and if you want to look at systematically so spreadsheets are very useful now after all that if you like to share your form with other people over your gmail or anything click on this arrow option this little arrow option on the top and you'll arrive here where you need to type your email uh, the person that you want to share it with you can write the subject you can give it a little message about your form so this is all you can do to share your form also you can convert it to a link format by clicking on this option you can shorten the url this has been shortened then you can copy it and just paste it wherever or to whoever you would want to send it now after all that you can also uh, share it via your facebook or your twitter handle from it so this was how you create google forms using your mobile phone so you can edit it you can share it you can create it in a spreadsheet format you can do many things with it so i hope you found this video useful guys and please do not forget to like share and subscribe to pc tips pro to be regularly updated with these helpful tech content thank you for watching guys